Hello guys, how's it going? Hope you all are doing great. I myself am doing pretty good. Oh boy, this tree took a long time to build. It wouldn't have been that bad if I had a little more time, but I uh, kept spreading out my uh, sessions of like grinding out the materials and then slowly getting progress on it. Uh, it's been like four days since I started work on it. It really hasn't like taken that long, but... Uh, I don't have a lot of time on my hands these days. Winter is pretty busy for me. Nevertheless, though, we got this huge custom tree build. I put a spiral pathway going up to our house. And actually, at the uh, beginning of this episode, before I even started the montage for the uh, tree building, I did some interior work in here. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, this room, we didn't actually... I do a floor for so went ahead and did that sounds like there's a spider in here or below i don't know uh but yeah we got a little couch over here this is kind of a witch's mansion so we got some very sus things lying around uh over here we got a spooky little i don't know what this is supposed to be really i just like the pumpkin head idea and we got a spooky lamp Fireplace with some wood, windowsill, chandelier, which actually, if you use Optifine and you use this, uh, oh, what's it even called? Ah, dynamic lights. That's what it is. It's just right there. Uh, if you have that on, then when you select a item, it lights up the armor stands, which is a little strange, but yeah, I, I thought that was kind of interesting when I built that. This fountain, oh boy, this was fun. Okay, one second, I'm gonna find this spider. Okay, spider's gone. Uh, so yeah, this fountain was fun to make, oh boy. Getting the water to flow, like, just one way out of each of these. I wasn't sure what to do for, like, the huge area in the center here. I was like, you know what would be weird? A fountain. So I did that. And I kind of just spammed these blocks down. I was like, you know what would be cool? If I managed to get water flowing from these, and... Nah, I did it. Maybe I'll do a quick tutorial on that since water flow is really confusing but uh i didn't do anything up in these areas yet didn't even put the windows in uh, i don't know what i would put up there anyway so we'll see totally forgot i was gonna do like a spiral sk staircase so it's just the ladder here but today's episode the plan is to make a basement for this place and make a auto uh automatic potion brewing system all right we're going to try and keep it all in this chunk here uh just so that if we ever are like kind of far away and like the chunks are kind of loading in and out as we are running our potion system nothing's gonna like get caught with two hoppers like facing into an unloaded chunk and back or anything like that we're gonna try and keep it all in one chunk so our first goal is to just dig out a basement underneath this place so we're gonna go over here and just turn this right back in and i'm gonna clear out some space for us okay so most of this video if not all of it is just gonna be me building the uh auto potion brewing system uh, and since i'm really pressed for time i'm just gonna kind of copy this from my creative world pretty much layer for layer uh, and that'll also make it easier for you guys to follow along if you want to build this yourselves so I got some images on my monitor over to the side of me uh, I'll probably pause in between each uh, layer to switch slides all right but our first one is gonna be looking something like this and can I break that? There we go. Uh, actually, yeah, that one can just go. We'll get rid of that. And then there's a couple way over here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, I think they're just right there. Wait, I got those backwards. Like that. Double check. Yep. Okay, that's our first layer. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in just so that we don't have to worry about 
dark spots once we're done building it's all filled in at least for this bottom layer over here we have a plus sign right there and one two three there we go then next to that is this this and then this is a fish it's not just me right that looks like a fish it's like swimming this way i don't know i see it all the time when i make that shape uh and then over here right there yep right there then we got a big blob right here just like that all right this layer can be filled in as well so these can actually go right here and what do you know right where the scaffolding is oh we can put stuff on there okay uh but the ice road can be built later it goes off this way a little bit uh, and then i didn't grab the stuff i actually needed redstone repeaters all right we got a dot of redstone there a dot of redstone there the rest of these are repeaters going here it looks like might be two ticks i'll have to check that out in a second this one goes this way all right so that is a one tick repeater there there's a one tick repeater there and as far as i can tell these are both one tick as well all right and that's that layer donezo okay so the droppers go here and here and i think that's all we need the droppers for for the rest of the system and then let's place down all the stone that we'll need to there will be a block there and a block there and a block there then there will be a kind of the same thing over here just like that okay and then one there oh i don't think this one actually had to be there but uh we'll just pick that up if it doesn't look like this one needs to be here either oh well i won't be too picky about this then we got this shape like this that's all the blocks then we need this stuff all right so we got comparator coming out of both the droppers into a repeater for both of them and then redstone going like that and this one is like that oh yeah i was confused for a bit but this is what's uh powering the dropper so now when we put stuff in here automatically spits it out okay yep okay let's take out the torches we need one right there and one right there and we need two hoppers those were already in my hop bar as far as i know these go right into the droppers and then both these torches are locking them yep all right but we're not done there's still a bunch to do in the back here redstone here redstone here two redstone there three redstone there we got a comparator comparator repeater okay this one actually looks fairly simple all right now the one brewing stand that's running this whole system i placed it on top of the scaffolding ah crap well none of it fell into the droppers the one brewing stand goes right there on top of this hopper okay then we need a bunch of hoppers uh, this one is for fuel. That one's facing into the brewing stand. How does stuff get here? Oh yeah, from there. Duh. Now I'm questioning my own design too much. And then the one here goes into this block. And then see, we got block, 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 block. One, two, three. Okay, so that's up to four blocks long. All right, uh... I have to dig a little bit more of this out. All right, then we got a two block gap and then another block. 
Then target block goes right there with a repeater right there. Redstone right there. It's very interesting. That's probably not supposed to happen, but whatever. I built this like two days ago. I can't remember anything. Uh, comparator. Redstone. Uh, then there's redstone behind this repeater. That's it for that layer. Alright, next layer. Get a couple hoppers going like that. Then we need a chest. That'll go right here and here. This is where our water bottles will be stored. Just start doing this thing. But, uh, yeah, we can do that later. Another comparator, repeater, block. And then right here, we have a etho hopper clock. And it goes like this. And then block. There's a block over here. Okay. Normal piston back there. Sticky piston over here redstone behind each of these. Did I miss? Well, there should be that right there. Alright, we are two blocks there. And our hoppers facing into each other. Uh, there's redstone right there. That's pretty much it. We just need the redstone block there. Over here, we have redstone. Next to layer. Alright, this one should be fairly simple. So right here, there will be a hopper. However, I believe this one is facing over here. Uh, oh boy, where did that go? Right there, all right. We got a block right there with a torch on the side of it. Uh, above, whoops, there that goes. Above that redstone, we got an observer facing down towards it. It's got this end up. And then way back over here on this block, we got a torch, redstone torch right there. And that's it for that layer. All right, let's keep building that up now that we're up to this layer. Uh, this has a double chest above it, I believe going that direction. I don't think it matters too much, but just want to make sure I'm staying out, staying out of the way. Uh, above this block, there should be redstone. And then next to this, and go over that many. We poke over here, get a sticky piston, and go back two blocks till we're diagonal with this. And this one, you go over one, another sticky piston, and then over to the torch. And that's it for this layer. This one's pretty simple as well. I like doing this first. It helps me keep track of uh, where things are lined up as this is a little confusing to look at. I've never built like this before. Copied over from screenshots. All right, next to... Oh, we actually got those. Next to this hopper. Go two blocks out, two blocks right there, and one right there. Block right there. I'm just going to build this for now, but this is not how we'll keep it. Just so that we can get this thing kind of up and running. We'll want something over top of that so it doesn't make any sound. But basically, when we right-click this thing, it activates this. Uh, I think there's redstone up there, but that's not actually the layer we're on. Okay, redstone, redstone. This one's got a one-tick repeater going that way. This one's got a two-tick repeater going that way. Then these lines just kind of meet up. This goes over to the piston. Yeah, that's right. And then... Redstone repeater. Both of these will have blocks on top of them. Okay, that is it for that layer. And it's raining. Let's turn that off. Weather. Alright, yep, this has redstone going like that. This is actually a repeater with a block. We get our double chest and hopper. I think that's... Obviously, you can go as high as you want with that. Ouch, I fall. Next, and actually, this might be the final layer. Yep, that was it. And that's it done. Now, obviously, you're looking at this and you're like, what in the heck is any of this supposed to do? Yeah, it's probably a pretty poorly optimized system. 
Alright, this needs to have 26 items in it. Alright, makes a sound, that's fine. Uh, one of these is a item filter. I'm just really hoping I did this right. Item filter, this one? Yeah, should be in this one. We'll get our items for that. Alright, so right next to our brewing stand here, this will be an item filter. How many is it? Forty-one. Okay. Okay, I found the problem. Uh, I couldn't see this in the screenshots because it was from above. But... Oh, no, nope, not that one. This is supposed to be a slab. Uh, redstone torch. Can actually stay on the side of this block. Slab, and I guess I mixed these around. Whoops. That goes like that. And then our redstone goes here and it won't burn out from the torch. This is just inside of the, the chunk here. There's the border, there's where that is. I tried really hard to keep it like that, so if we're gonna have aesthetic stuff, it's gonna be in that direction. Uh, and this is essentially our start button. I wanna move that kind of over to the wall here. I actually really like this path, this spiraling staircase up the, uh, the tree. All right, got a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's turn these into glistering melons. Put that back, gunpowder, redstone, make a ton of bottles. Oh. There we go. So now there should be water bottles in the system. They are currently filling up that, perfect. Now, here's how this thing works. It's really weird, uh, but it's basically I wanted it to be able to queue up different uh, potion types so like you're not just running one batch and that's what like there are systems that are automatic but they just run through the same potion constantly let's say you wanted to make health potions and oh that was one thing i needed sugar if you wanted to make speed potions we'll need some of that we'll need one of those one of those one of those all right and two of those. Here's how this is gonna work. We put these ingredients in the order that they would flow through. You'll notice this hopper is locked, it's not taking items out. So we'll start, we'll get our instant health potion. And we'll make an instant health two, because you can't extend it. It's not, it doesn't have a timer. And this one will make splash, okay? And then that's the end of that batch. Then we start another one. We'll make a speed potion extended. And that's like it. We end the batch again. And assuming I did this whole thing right, we should be able to start it. It was completely silent, so I don't know if it worked. It did not work. I mess up the redstone. Oh boy, I'm scared. Oh, this this repair might. I think it's supposed to be two ticks. Okay. It took one item. Okay, I'm down here now. It went through here. Oh, I need fuel. So this hopper right here is for fuel. We can just put that in there. Automatically goes in there. All right, it's starting up. All right, however. I kind of messed this up, so let's take those out and put those back in. Alright, let's restart this. We go Nether Wart, Glistering Melon, uh, Tier 2, Splash, and Batch. Then we go, no, oh, that's going to stack over there. Sugar, Redstone, and Batch. Okay, let's try this again. I think it should be ready. Click. Took one through. It started the hopper clock back there. And it's it's going. It only took one item. There's nothing in these. That's halfway through the timer. Makes it an awkward potion. Next item comes through. Glistering Melon. That was the next in this line. Perfect. It's looking good.
Okay, so after that gunpowder, the next thing is an end batch. So I'll try and explain what happens when that goes off. Alright, so the end batch will go in here, and it detects that something went through there. It'll refresh the potions. They get spit out right here. Sets in new water bottles and starts the next thing. So it went ahead and uh, just put the next nether war in already. And that should make speed one extended. And it ended the batch. New water bottle spits these out here. Gives me the end batch tag. And then this one that spits out these. That'll just go through a water stream and go back into whatever chest we have set up. It's not going to be there. This room's going to look a lot nicer, don't you worry. Uh, the machine stopped running. It's waiting for our next uh, start thing. Because if it doesn't receive anything going through here, then like if nothing goes through this, it's not going to start another cycle. So now to start it up again, we have to put more ingredients in and manually start it, which actually should be able to do that. And nothing's going to go through, so it's not going to start the timer. Yeah. And let's make this room look beautiful, because right now it looks like crap, honestly. Ah, oh, keep falling. Okay, let's do a quick tutorial on this fountain thing that I made and how I built it because water flowing is very uh, finicky, to say the least. So if we just go like this, the water will flow right down to there. But if we were to place it without like these dirt blocks that I just placed, it would say that, oh, I can flow here. So it does. And yes, it can flow here even with this dirt block, but... Right here, it sees there's a closer ledge, so that's where it, like, prioritizes. It doesn't go to the back because it's a stair, and the back is technically blocked off. But yeah, we just waterlog the stair, and that's that one complete. However, we are going to keep those blocks there, because when we place this one, it'll update that water, and it'll see, oh, now I can flow over here if we remove the dirt blocks, so we're not going to do that. Okay, now when we place this water... It'll update this one. We need to keep these dirt blocks there. But now we can remove them. It's updating this one, but it still sees this is the only way to go because these blocks are here. Okay, now why did I use slabs here? Because this down here is a wall. And when we break these, it would update its, um, I guess, direction. Because we have a wall here. And we place a block next to it. That is considered an update to this block. So if this is our water block above it we break this that block changed and technically updated this block and then remove these safely without it uh, updating the wall and it's just flowing straight down into these this looks a little weird but i don't really mind uh it sees this water a waterlogged stair as a block that it just flows straight down into it doesn't see it as a solid block that it then flows from but yeah that's how you make the fountain that's how you uh obey the water laws of physics and whatnot in Minecraft. All right, let's take a look at what we've done. Down here, we got a ton of these bins with hoppers below them. Got little levers on the sides of them. Anytime we want an item, we can just kind of flip the lever down. We can get our items flowing out. Obviously, that doesn't actually work. They're just stored in here, and anything that's uh, up in this goes down to there. But it's a neat aesthetic thing. So I only put a couple items down here for now. We just got these three, nether wart, and uh, glistering melon. I'm going to try and organize them by how commonly I use them and put like the least used back in here and most used up over here. But yeah, this thing is working now. It's uh, all built, ready for use. We now have our automatic potion brewing system. Awesome, awesome. But yeah, I gotta get this video uploaded. I'm taking my time with it. It's been taking quite a while to make. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
It was kind of just like a redstone tutorial and probably a sloppy one at that. But uh, nevertheless, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.